Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today is a wonderful day because we are continuing the blind playthrough of uh, Mission Impossible Difficulty Full Lethality. We're in the middle of the jungle <coughs> and have taken out one of these <coughs> excuse me, stupid outposts. So, what we're going to do is we are going to attack the next outpost today. That's on our agenda, 12 hours boat ride, and off we go. In the meantime, you guys over here need to do a bit of a training. Dexterity it is. Steroid needs to reach decent levels so that he actually hits with a gun. 13 enemies. Got a night operation. No intel in that sector. So since we have a night ops, put the night goggles on. Not sure if Igor needs night goggles, potentially not. He has a shiny and chrome helmet. I tell you what, he even gets body parts. Oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. That shiny chrome helmet does not reduce movement. Okay, I see how it is. It's heavy, but it does is not uh, cumbersome. Okay, cool. Well, apparently Mad Max does not create a cumbersome movement. Good. So, team begins here. Tower over there. A bit, bit of um, a bit of cover over here. Did Le Major send you? I hope he is not unhappy with us. Is this an inspect? Lovely. We're looking for someone. God forbid, but are you searching for Pierre? He's right there at the flogging post. Go on and shoot him. I'll go tell the guards. They'd love to watch, you know? Who are you? They call me King Chicken because they, um, they appreciate me. I take care of all the chickens in the camp so that everyone is well fed and happy. Even my fellow prisoners, they get a free egg each week. What else are the prisoners eating? Um, whatever they find. Mostly roots, I guess. Perhaps some bugs and worms. We have a very democratic system here in Camp Bianchien. Everyone fends for themselves. I think maybe you mean capitalist system. But I take care of them, yes I do. They get a free egg per week, and even more if they help me out with my chores and duties. So, you're working for the maybe guards. I'm jumping to conclusions, but I get the feeling you like the guards more than you like us. Oh, none. I'm a prisoner like everyone else. I'm just a bit more entrepreneurial. I take care of the chickens and everything. Everyone appreciates a good... Even as a king chicken t-shirt. Right? Uh, we're not killing people. We're a good, uh, lawful group. Well, it's nice to see somebody here knows what they're doing. I hope there are more like you around. I know, I know. Le Major has sent you to check on his goons, right? At this hour, they are playing cards in the barracks. You can sneak up on them just like that. <laughs> Why is Pierre here? I've heard he pissed off Le Major himself. Pierre was one of his lieutenants. But a bunch of mercenaries kicked his ass. It's no wonder the Legion troops west of here are crap. Our guards in camp. Good, tell us about the place. Oh. 
This is our prisoner camp. Here are the barracks where you can stash all of the weapons and one staff over there are the flogging post uh, where the stupid asshole peer is being punished. Uh, that you'll find my fellow prisoners minding their we own business. We should inspect the weapon stash to make sure everything is properly stored. Nah, we're not killing him. Oh wow, okay. Okay. Playing it smooth. This would be pointless. Hide and shoot. That is my Good, that's one of them down. Hold up. Check this out. Good thing I brought my sneaks. What? Moving. Okay. They cannot hit what they cannot see. It's an easy shot to make from cover. Good, let's get the gunner down. Okay, fair enough. I will try to remain hidden. MD. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Um. Very, 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 very moves to here and hides. Try to become hard to see. Of course. Same deal with Igor. Moves up, drinks. And hides here. Great. You will see. Good, the Iceman moves over here. And I guess we're good. Let them come outside. He hit his own body because he was <laughs> aiming at the wall. Made 10 overwood shots in one turn. Great. I even got an achievement out of this. Still undetected. I move with haste. Uh, let's still have the shot. No problem. Have another shot. Of course. Moves up. Third shot. Switch his weapon. Yes. And gets a raid leader. Um moves to here. And goes on the ground. Okay, cool. Tripping. You got it. The 
Iceman gonna keep everyone covered. Going right now. Oh, but moves over. MD present. Puts a nice little Overwatch zone in. Can you know get them? Almost. That is my game. All right, all right. Moves up. This is no problem. That's one badass bitch. Good thing she's on our side. Good, moving up. Explosive. Teaching them a bit of a lesson. I have no clear shot. And I think Barry just wants to I get closer. Moved. There's still a sniper behind, but we're good. This guy was on the toilet. Okay. I almost feel bad for him now. Kill zone is so, so, so good. Should have uh, gotten that much earlier. Some of them around, yeah? What's something of great Good. Value? Cash in. Uh, we're cashing this in. We're cashing that in. We have enough of it. Uh, unload. Scratch. Thank you. Yes, go. Let's move. Interesting, Ken. How can I serve you? Oh, would you like some scrambled eggs? Very tasty. Goodbye. Have a nice. Sure. Good. I mean, he's a coward, but we're not randomly killing people. This door is fastened as with lock and key. Can I assist? Device disarmed with precision. Uh, our crowbars. Are, Some stuff over there. Uh, starting to really go down. Like That's not good. Oh, yet again, another crowbar thing. Good, so that's how you could have done the whole thing as well. Just sneak up and explode everything. But of course you could have also just um, put some overwatch down and kill everyone. It was funny to see how all of them just ran out. And one after the other got destroyed. I am in movement. Oh, nice! They are orc. Longer range, excellent uh, for aiming. Cool. Listen, that might be an upgrade. Even five, five, six ammunition. Uh, very much the same as the. 
E uh, G36, but I think the G36 is objectively speaking a bit better. Low attack costs, longer range, increased bonus from aiming. Hmm. How can I assist? We're getting some really good stuff here. And I believe maybe Hello. Uh, the idea yeah. is okay. to actually get more I squats and not just the main uh, one. Um, we're going right. Let's go. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe the idea is to actually get multiple squats uh, of mercenaries. Learn it up. I hit these with enemy. All for glory! Today is a good day. King Chicken gave me a second egg for this week, and the gods beat me just once! What for? <laughs> you? Here? I've heard about your deeds, but I didn't expect you to come to this godforsaken place. I, uh, I... I feel compelled to admit that you are right, and I was wrong about the Legion. They just used you. Yes, they did. How could I not see through all those hollow words and promises for a great future? I was so easy to fool. Yes, it is true. You are very naive. But you are not completely without hope. What happened to you? You happened to me. Le Major does not tolerate failure, and I accepted my punishment. I deserved You're it. You're welcome, dude. But in Diamond Red, I saw. I saw how they treat our people in the name of the Legion. I learned of all the slavery and the abuse. I heard the stories and I saw what kind of people the Major favors. We killed Graf. Yes, I heard that. And I'm glad you did. For some people, it is a real shame they can be killed only once. My only regret is I couldn't kill him myself. I tried. Yes, it's true. So the Legion isn't what you expected, eh? Uh, we needed the cause to unite us. A promise that we serve the country and work for a better future. At least some of us did. Others just At needed an excuse. The, day, the legend turned out to be just a cover for greed and violence and for the madness. You can help us to make it things right. Weird, but from what I have been hearing about you, kid that slaver and murderer graph, you have taken care of my dad's friends in Ernie. And above all, you seem to genuinely care about our country. So. Oh yeah, join us. And you want to take me with you? Let me become one of you? And I have just one thing to ask. Please don't disappoint me as well. Be honorable to the end. Oh nice. Is he a free merc? I have found a thing. And if so, what are your stats, my dude? Good, you need some training. Marksmanship is fine. And you have Legion's Pride, which is a really, really nice... Um, really, really nice attack item. We're caching that in, thank you. Heavy armor helmet, heavy armor vest, flag leggings. Uh, let's do a little bit of that and shortly integrate you into the team. Thank you. Uh, we need that helmet. Yes, please. And you get a normal har he heavy armor helmet in return. Good.
Nice. Pierre uh, works with us for free now. Look, no payment here. Mm, very nice. Okay, Larry Flay and Pierre. Uh, which means we do have one too many in the second squad. Uh, not the end of the world. But I wonder if we eliminate the weakest link. Sort of steroid at that point. Which is a shame because we really, really trained him for a super long time. And we also need a mechanic. Pierre does not have mechanics and he has a shite wisdom. Um, but with more dexterity, I think he could be used. You know, since he's not needed here at the moment, might as well send him. Might as well send him to a different place. Why is there still a conflict here? Conflict with what? Got it. Ready for action. Nine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Great at hiding. They cannot hit what they cannot see. One veteran Hide sniper. You. That is my game. Honestly, I don't understand the point of not hiding. Is the conflict resolved? Hide and shoot. That is my game. Okay, conflict resolved. Going. Interesting. Stealing, We're no just having the discussion there and the sniper is just waiting and waiting and waiting. I tell you what. Um, all right, all right. Here. Ready to um do stuff. We move with certainty. We oui? fine with me. You loot that guy. It will be done. Yeah, just because we have you joining the team shortly doesn't mean you can take so much ammunition with you. That's not going to fly. Ammo stays with the main team. So do the mats. There you go. Fine with me. Pierre begins to move. That's okay. And we'll take all of the ammo back. It's an interesting concept that if you switch around mercenaries, you're giving them basically a bit of your ammunition. Sort of makes sense, but when you have so much different ammo stored up, well, it makes it a bit more difficult. Okay, that seems more like it. Ice got a level. And Ice is doing very well for himself, thank you. So, we either have 50% uh, more crit damage or higher crit chances. So, uh, that would be 15% crit chance just on top, which isn't bad. Uh, the other option would be to give him calm on the fire and go all the way into kind of the health perks. He was the one that was closest to death so far. He's often outside of uh, cover. He 
He's now level 8. 9. Uh, so, 8, 9, 10. If we want calm on the fire, we need to do it now. Elsewise, we might just go with uh, Vanguard and call it a day. But then there is no calm on the fire. He's not overwatching a lot, so that really doesn't mean too much. And he's oftentimes spending all of his AP, so maybe we're just going to get extra chance here. Um, could do the distracting shot as well afterwards. And 50% crit chance definitely is helpful. Uh, crit damage not chance so when he deals crit damage that uh, would mean he deals a lot let's go with this because I truly believe that's really good that's a really good uh, option that's 15% extra crit chance and he's currently rocking like what he has a weapon with a good amount of crit chance, 16%. High crit chance, actually. Another 15, that's 30%. And uh, he does have his Ice Storm, uh, which means it's very likely for him to hit twice. Therefore, coming inspired. And yeah, attacks deal 30% after kill. I think he's fine. The build is, is great. If we give him more crit damage, that would just accelerate his uh, kill potential. And just with the stats and his Ice Storm, he's absolutely rocking it. Hit point wise, everybody has over 100, right? Uh, except Lifewire. Oh, you might need to work on that. Um, I tell you what, our main team here needs to do some militia training. Um, but before we're, I would really like to train uh, Livewire uh, to get more hit points. And do we have another weak set for one person? All right, so MD needs agility, Livewire needs hit points. Who is good in hit points? Listen, Hawkbite can train Lifewire, Igor trains MD, and Ice and Barry are doing the militia training. Ice, Barry, militia training. So. I don't want uh, to automatically start. So, Igor. Trains MD. That's good. Which means Hogbite and Lifewire need a separate squad. Good. These guys are training. These guys are not doing anything at the moment. That's not good. I will dedicate 120% to this assignment. 
All right, Pierre. Pierre moves up and joins up with you guys. And... Um... Learn something about dexterity. This here does not seem like an aggressive uh, place. Let's go. It's interesting that one of those small islands, so deep, uh, so deep in. Forty-five explosives. Not sure if she can disarm that. Hello there. Let's move. Don't want to risk any wounds here. If you ever see Captain Piero, please tell him. My wife told me that you hire workers. That my wife told me that you hire workers. I pay well. I'll come and sign up tomorrow. Tonight, I will celebrate my new job with my. But this looks like a crocodile infested region. Gotta be careful not to accidentally trigger crocodiles. Heading out. Hostile animal in the area. <laughs> Called it. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Heading out. Let's move. Okay. All right, all right. Fine. I guess we're going. Okay, good enough for training. You need more health? Let's go. go for it. All right, that is finished. I am ready. All right, train militia again. Kind of easier than I thought it would be. Continue to train here. No, we don't want to stop operations. Legion squad will soon come in. And be there in... 16 hours. This task is finished. All right, uh, you're training, you're training. You are not yet training. Continue with training, please. We need more marksmanship. Good, and we're going to do another fight this time with seven mercenaries here. Ready for a fight. Blood here. Time to disappear. Yeah. Be quiet now. Be quiet now. Invisible. I will fall on them. Now this guy's one. All right, but I don't see how they won't spot my magnificent physique. Gonna do this quiet and clean. Well, I uh, can't see our two teams sufficiently because uh, just switching between them takes too long. Huh? I will have you, buckets. What is up, man? Good, let's do one after the other. A couple of flying daggers to go to here. One. Oh, just 
to moves to here. This idea stinks worse than spoiled meat. Throws another knife. Pretty good. One less gus ball. Uh, where is the free movement? That would be get up. Okay. Free move all the way to here, and then. Uh, before we're doing that, uh, where is Larry? Larry moves up. Moves all the way to here. Takes a shot. Good hit. Injures these three guys. Very good. Come on, mouse. For once, hit that. Okay, that actually was a good hit. Apparently the training works. Shouldn't have spoken too early. Buns kills them. Easy peasy. I will sneak up like a tree falling in the forest. Third moves up. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. Kills this guy. Good shot. Appreciate that. Standing, yes, she's standing. We don't want that. So, torso shots. And of course, she jams her gun. Perfect timing for that. Blood here. This is going down. Scuzzball removed. But Blood was in a good position, and we actually managed to do that. Cool. Alright, Flay, I don't like the gunner, this which means so that guy needs to die first. Afterwards, we're taking cover. So the prey does not see you. Uh, are we going to Overwatch? He, he does not have Overwatch perks, really. Onto the arms. Okay. Did we use everybody? Yep. Cool. These fights are a bit more exciting than uh, than the ones with a um, with a prime team. Veterans are potentially going to wipe the floor with them. Yeah, like I mentioned, the veterans have a really good aim and pretty strong weapons. 
the elites are even better. Go to your positions. Good, Flay here. Changes weapons. Got a view to a kill here. Dual wielding headshots. Oh, oh, oh that wasn't that was bad at all. Well unfortunately not Mouse enough here. damage. Mouse unjabs her weapon. A mind, not a miracle work. Sister, I'll drink to your success. Blood moves in. I like his endless knives because he really doesn't need a weapon. He is a weapon. Yes. Got ourselves some good ammunition. We're moving. We got this. And I think we killed everyone, right? Right? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Steroid is the first one to reach level 2 and he does difficult. We wanted steroid to We wanted steroid uh, to uh, with a different build. I still don't know what to do uh, what to make out of him. Like his strength is superb, but a couple of other things just don't really match up so well. Uh, we have almost gotten him to the point where he's not useless. So what kind of build would we want to get for him? I want to use uh, items that I uh, or skills that I haven't used so far. And one of his downsides seems to be he's not really good at at moving. So you could go into agility, but then you couldn't get the silver perk. So really you're you're stuck with strength and uh, with um, and with health perks. Of course, breach and clear is super good. Um, but he doesn't have a lot of explosive skills, so he would need to train that as well. I think recoil management is uh, might be a good one for him. He already has a hundred health, so they were going getting him to 120 health. But I think for starters, recoil management would be good. And then the shock assault. That would all point into the direction of kind of a shotgun based build. But you know what? I mean, look, maybe for those guys here, maybe we're not going to go uh, for the high perks. Maybe I'm just going to build something else. I definitely will build something not like the first one. He has currently automatic weapons, so I would want to continue with that. He has good recoil management with his strengths. He actually does have a very decent marksmanship, so if we can get that dexterity up, he could be a good soldier. Let's confirm that. Okay. In terms of in terms of our second team, who would we sacrifice? Like who's the least important? I can tell you who performed the worst so far, which was by far Mouse. Um, Flay is good. I like him. Pierre is a melee monster. So, I mean, Pierre could be, for all I'm concerned, uh, with his machete. Uh, trade his AK for, uh, for a submachine gun. Uh, 
That would not be a bad idea. So that's five hours. That's ten hours, so yeah, we're just going to go. And that's even four hours. Come on! I'm finished with my task. I'm gonna take my 15 minute break now. I'll get it done. Good, these guys here. Need to get some dexterity. I still think I want to continue with the uh, steroid. And blood isn't bad either. He's a fun character. Specifically the endless knives uh, make for fun play. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, who who would who would you kick, right? So, I like the idea of mouse. But if I had to uh, decide between... So, Buns definitely stays because we need a sniper. Um, and she has great wisdom and a somewhat decent leadership. Mouse was originally hired for her medical experience, but both blood and buns do have that as well which means mouse is an all-rounder which is all okay but her recoil management is just it just sucks maybe mouse needs a pistol because her strength is so low she can't hit anything it is unbearable Yeah, if we if we fire mouse, then flay. Is, does mouse have a good marksmanship? No, not even that. <coughs> but she does have a good uh, agility and dexterity, so she can actually train very well. <coughs> so let me. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me modify that. <coughs> Mouse is I will dedicate going to get out of here. <coughs> oh, wow. I was going to get out of here. And is splitting over there. I'm at the place where you told me to go. Okay. Bye. <coughs> Play will move over here. So, oh, I needed to get some uh, water. So, Mouse is actually going to train these two buffoons. To get all the way uh, back around wow that's a huge mistake we can't let that happen good md <clears throat> is getting substantially better with uh, his agility And Lifewire is getting better with her health, which isn't bad either. <clears throat> and by the way, it was a mistake to move them over here. Because they need to go all the way. You need a port in order to travel, apparently.
Militia training is finished. That's good. Uh, which means we are changing into medical training. Which all of you guys could use. Um, I'll get right on it. Yeah, Larry <clears throat> still needs marksmanship training. He's just not good enough at it at the moment. In the meantime, you can start repairing items. Good. <clears throat> what can blood train? He is good in agility. He's good at marksman. He's good at dexterity. He actually cannot train a lot. He is an all around really decent character, but that does not take away from the fact that we need to train Larry so that Larry doesn't suck with being a marksman. Um, the other team here Uh, Pierre <clears throat> needs dex training and steroid also needs dex training both of them 75 uh, dex and mouse is a good trainer so <clears throat> for what it's worth she's doing a good job <clears throat> Uh, can blood do something meaningful at this time? He has repaired all of the items. I wish he could. Uh, he has. He had more explosives, so he could start uh, crafting ammunition because we do have ammo available for these guys. But I think he has too little explosives. Yeah, thirty-one is not enough to be a crafter. Good. Well, I think he's just going to idle for a short period of time. The other team, Mouse, can tra uh, train Dexterity, but I think Blood does have... Well, he technically has 90 Dexterity, so he could get up to 91. And... Then they need to do something else. Good, everybody is coming up for a nice little renegotiation. My contract, which is a good point in time to not let mouse stay Sorry for too to long my contract hello hey so let's say we're doing another 10 days with mouse and then she's officially gone Great. that's five more sessions of training contracts on Hello. Um. All right. Uh, Lifewire has eighty six health and hundred three 
which I think is a reasonable amount. So you two move back. In the meantime, more medical training because we want to make sure that our prime team are well versed all rounders. Good, prime team is reunited. And we're just going to train uh, medical. Play has reached the necessary marksmanship as well. The problem is Larry is learning slow. And I think the only one with higher marksmanship the only one with higher marksmanship would be um, Steroid and he needs to learn. So let's just double check something else, shall we? Uh, she could use some agility training. He could use some dexterity training. We're currently training dexterity, so... Larry really just gets the one-on-one -on -one training I here. To this assignment. Split the squad. And better dexterity training. Sterrett is at 70, which is good. P uh, 74, Pierre is at 70, so we're getting there. I'm inclined to auto-resolve that. Unload. Scrap. Unload. No, 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 not equip. we give him as a second uh, weapon oh yeah he had his explosives but where are they gone now damn it I did have two or three more uh, shaped charges and they seem to be gone Well, Molotov it is. Oh, okay, because he has used them. I see we clicked on use ordinance. Never mind. resolve okay only this camp needs to be destroyed and then the only one is uh, the one up there so we can once this camp is destroyed we can take uh, we can take over that continent lots and lots of training I'm not sure if I'm overdoing it
All right, auto resolving that. All right, unload scrap <clears throat> and the famous scrap that as well. Okay, someone needs to train militia here. And I know exactly who that person's supposed to be. Good, we're running another training operation. I think we're getting everybody a bit over 50 medical isn't a bad idea. And then we're doing the same for explosives. Militia training. Flay is going to do that. And Larry is moving towards 80. Good, Pierre is at 71, Sarah is already good. There's another shipment coming in. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a steady flow of shipments apparently coming all the way down to here. Look at that, almost everybody at uh, over 50. As long as we do have um, two to three arrows on everyone, that uh, that is good. All right, so I fast forwarded a little bit because I think the training episode isn't as fun uh, to watch. So basically what we did is we trained militia here. We do have militia over here. We now do have militia over here. And I did most of uh, the training. So we got steroid uh, with mid 70s, nearly 80s on both of the skills that were very low. Uh, we got marksmanship in the high 80s there. Pierre did some training. I helped him with agility and dexterity, which was helpful for him. Got some uh, marksmanship training as well. With 80, I think he's fine. Uh, got Larry up to 82 marksmanship training, and you can see agility and dexterity very, very nice. Larry is surprisingly, a surprisingly good learner. We got uh, really good stats on Flay as well and we're ready to use the second uh, team now to introduce uh, that we will do that the next time as well steroid and blood uh, both with smgs and frontline i figured i'll give him the sharp machete his uh, fist might be nice but the machete is better we got another uh, machete uh, fix installed in pierre he is another mp5 uh, kind of shock trooper so we almost have like three shock troopers in the front. Very, very different setup. Larry here has a, a pretty uh, sizable ranged anaconda, uh, which can uh, hit the enemies as they are uh, in a little bit further distance. Has the rocket launcher whenever needed, grenades um, for explosion. And Flay really alternates between Glocks for reposition and then Winchester. And I will play him more as a loner who's always kind of trying to find the flank. And uh, Buns is going to be their uh, full-fledged sniper. So I think overall a interesting combination. 
I moved away from the shotguns. Shotguns uh, are also something that we're using in our prime team a lot. So the secondary team really should focus mainly, mainly on the weapons that we have not used, which are pistols and SMGs. And I think I've achieved that with essentially five people using exactly that in some shape or capacity. But I also want to make sure that the builds are still working at the end. So that's really it. Um, that is where we stand. We are going to uh, we're going to do the jungle the next time. Uh, there is still one more camp, of course, that needs to be done. So we're going to like get all of uh, that jungle plus the hospital, and then we need to get back to the refugee camp as well before getting to Wassergrab and uh, all of the other locations. We're still doing fine, I think. Uh, the mine here is depleting. Uh, all the while, this mine is still very rich, and this mine here is also very rich. Landsbach is um, is good. I mean, the mine uh, is creating definitely a couple of profits, and with our second team essentially consisting out of three characters that don't need any payment. That's not too bad. Uh, sucks that we did not get Smiley, but uh, we got almost all of the others, which is a, a cool little gimmick of uh, the game. I wish I knew about those guys before. In that case, I would have just done all of this area, directly moved to this camp and have gotten Pierre, because he's actually a good character, all things considered. Maybe something for a follow-up uh, playthrough where uh, mm, I am doing kind of a no-budget playthrough. So only the IMP and that guy then needs to slowly but surely um, uncover his entire team. Yeah, but it'll, it'll come over time. So uh, I think we're at the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to continue here with uh, finally Team 2 action. The Alpha Squad uh, will help us to uh, go through these regions. And we're going to land here and two squads uh, will take over that entire continent. Thanks for watching guys and as always enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.